Hello, I'm Dr. Rachel Hall of Evolve Dental Healing Kenmore Dentist. And in my videos, I like to share simple and helpful tips for you to have great dental health and to live a healthy life. And today I'm going to talk about mouth taping. Why do we mouth tape? What is it? What do you mean taping my mouth? Okay, well, I'll come back to that and answer those very shortly. But a lot of people breathe through their mouth during the day and during their sleep. Now, that's because they've got blockages in their nose or throat, they've got um, difficulty with breathing, and then they develop a head forward posture, which puts a lot of strain on the neck and back. But if your mouth breathing is a child or your child's mouth breathing, the tongue doesn't push up against the roof of the mouth. It sits down low behind the lower teeth, and that means the muscles of the cheeks and lips can compress against the teeth and jaws and stunt the developmental growth. We can end up with very narrow, thin jaws, crowded teeth, which then adds to more difficulty to breathing. So we always want to encourage our children to sit up straight, good posture, lips together, breathe through their nose. If they do have difficulties nose breathing, then an appointment with an ear, nose and throat specialist to check things out or to see if they've got allergies to help relieve any blockages in the nasal passages. Now, as adults, we can mouth breathe, nose breathe, but we can train ourselves to nose breathe, holding our lips together, pushing the tongue up against the roof of the mouth. But what happens when you're asleep? Yes, we tend to fall asleep, our lips come apart, our mouth opens, and we breathe through our mouth. So why is that a problem? Well, this hole here is designed for food and water and talking. These holes here are designed for taking in air. Now inside your nose is a series of little hairs and cells with little hairs on called cilia, which filter the air that we breathe. So when we mouth breathe, we're breathing unfiltered air with all the dust, allergens and particles in it. They then irritate the tonsils and it irritates the lungs and causes inflammation. And inflammation over a long time period can cause ill health. Also, when we nose breathe, in our sinuses here in our cheeks is a gas called nitric oxide. Now, when you breathe that in, it has an anti-inflammatory component and it helps to bathe the lungs in the nitric oxide, reduce inflammation and help you sleep very deeply, as well as the nose filtering the air. The other thing is when you mouth breathe, you're actually because of the inflammation, you're causing oxidation and stress on the body, which can lead to chronic health conditions. It also means you're over-oxygenating the body, so you don't go into a very deep and restful sleep. And so you can wake up feeling um, dull, foggy, confused, lightheaded, achy behind your eyes, sinusy, and just feel, you can just feel off colour all day when you've been mouth breathing. And there's being talked about is mouth breathing linked to things like ADHD and developmental abnormalities in growth and in mental function. So the way we can train ourselves to nose breathe during the night when you're unconscious and you don't know that you're going, it's not even that you're snoring, it's just that you're mouth breathing. And a bit of a giveaway that your mouth breathe is drool all over your face and pillow when you wake up, dry mouth, sore throat and that stuffy muzzy, almost hangover, headachey feel. So to mouth tape, you need some of this. Now this is micropore tape or surgical tape. It's nice and thin, it's not too sticky, and it's flexible. And I'm gonna demonstrate how you do it in a moment. And you just need to put a piece of this over your lips, and put your lips together, you can put a bit of Vaseline on first, over the lips, or lip balm, over the lips, and then you breathe through your nose while you sleep. So I'll show you how much I use. Just get a little piece off here. I probably should have done that before we started the video. But the benefits of nose breathing, so using mouth tape, 
So the benefits of using mouth tape is that you're going to sleep more deeply, you're going to get the right amount of oxygenation, you're going to get the nitric acid, you're going to be anti-inflammatory, which is going to allow your body to heal, you're going to have better levels of concentration, your mood will be increased, and you'll just have tons more energy. So I managed to find the end. So you want a piece about yay big. And what I like to do is just fold one of the corners over like that. So I've got like a little tab. And then I pop this over my lips. And if I do need to untab it, I've got an end there and it's easy to peel off in the morning. So here we go. And there we are, I was breathing through my nose. And that just helps hold your lips together while you sleep. I suggest you give it a go. If you find at first it's a bit difficult, you are stuffy, and I used to get like this very sinusy, very stuffy and blocked nose, then just train yourself during the day. Just either close your lips together, work on breathing through your nose, or if you're working on something, you know, sitting at your computer and you're nice and private, you can pop this on. and just teach yourself to breathe through your nose. So give it a try and see how you sleep and see if mouth taping works for you. I can guarantee you that for the majority of you, it's gonna make a huge difference and you'll just sleep so much better and be more refreshed. So give mouth taping a go. I'm Dr. Rachel of Evolve Dental Healing, Kenmore Dentist. Thank you so much for watching.